Glory to God. Amen. Glory. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory. Hallelujah. Awesome testimony. Thank you, Lord. That should give someone in here hope. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. I come here this morning to do the pastoral appeal. But first, I would like to give honor to God. Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. I would like to give honor to my apostle. Honor to I said mine because they are mine. Glory to God. Give honor to my prophetess. Glory to God. To each and every one of you all, my family, genuine love family. Glory to God. But I'm here to tell you the pastoral appeal that is so important. You want to have a great testimony life? Pastor Andrea, you're looking for hope, expectation, pastoral appeal is coming up. The pastoral anniversary is January 29th and the 30th. It's going all the way through to March. Amen. Amen. We have a goal that we're trying to reach. It may sound like a lot, but it's really nothing. It's really a penny, if you say it. If you look at it, the goal is 10000 That's not much. Not when you're being fed by the man and woman of God. Not when they're giving you hope. Because the word said, hope is in the word. Amen. And if you're looking for something that happened in your life that man can't do, you have to be obedient to the word. And we are asking for each and every one to give in to the pastoral anniversary. And when you give, give, and, and, and even if it has to hurt your pocket, hurt your account, something might be going might go off. But honey, you can't beat what God has for you. I'm here as a testimony to let you know that when you give until the man and woman of God, you can't give enough. Amen. Because they're giving you life. Amen. The word is life. Yes, yes. And you can't, you can't get it anywhere else. I'm telling you, you can't get it anywhere else. This is a unique, a peculiar place. This is a place of breathing life into you. Because I've been out there, I moved away, and it's nothing like genuine love. Amen. Nowhere is like genuine love. I'm telling you, there's no place like here. Because you are being fed the doctrine truth. And you're getting something that you never heard before. Since I've been away, I've been listening to some of Apostle tapes from 2005, 2006. And the word that he was speaking back there has manifest to here now. If you listen to some of those tapes, back then, a lot of times, he was saying my name. I never heard it until now that I'm listening to some of the CDs. He was saying, Christine. I'm like, my Lord. I never heard them back then. Even when I played the, the CDs back then. But I'm playing them now and I hear them. Amen. I hear them. Amen. Let me tell you, from the time that I came to this ministry to now, there's nothing man could have ever done that God has done for me. Amen. There has been miracle after miracle has happened in my home. With me, with my children, with my husband, I took, let me tell you something, I stopped working, I retired, thinking things was going to go the way I wanted. 
money-wise. And what they wanted to do was, they was going to take 20% and then a 3% from me. Do you know I would have had nothing? So you know what? Just what Apostle said years ago that I'm going to be set up, and I turned 59 and a half, I'm, I don't have to worry no more. Amen. Because the way my money is set up, I will not have to worry again. I'm telling you. He spoke to me about the first thing he ever told me was, I was going to get a lot of That was strange, right? Coming from my pastor. And he said, I don't condone, but I don't know why, but he said for you, you're going you're to win the lot of Let me tell you, until a week ago, I never thought about that other than I'll play every now and then. But I didn't put hope into it. I didn't put expectation into it. But now that I, I, I'm, I'm listening to his CDs back then, I'm like, you know what? He said, I'm going to have a lot of, and I think about the lot of as being going out there playing. But I said, 59 and a half, that's my lot of you all. Okay. I'm not going to have to worry. But I tell you, 59 and a half, I'm not going to have to worry anymore. But let me tell you something. That's what it comes in sacrificial giving. I remember one time I had a, a money order. It was three hundred and something dollars. At Genuine Love down there on one eighty third, and this money order was to pay my light bill. I didn't pay it. He said somebody here got three hundred and something dollars, and you need to give it. I kept looking at that money order. A light bill. You be in the in the dog. My husband. But then I thought about it, what he gonna have a fit for? Because he wasn't working back then. It was my 300 and something dollars. So, that money order, I signed it and I put it into the ministry. Amen, amen, amen. I'm telling you, I'm not working, but my husband is working. And, I'm, and I tell you, to tell you right here, I don't have anything to worry about. Amen. Right God doing just what he said he was gonna do. To that husband, and I, that one that didn't come home, that one that stayed for days, that one was out there doing everything, but now he's home, he's working, he's doing everything that God told him he was going to do. And I know that that sin, because all you have to do is give and believe what was told to you. Amen.